and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing collectibles on Miner. So, and as always, hello from Mifri. So, we unlocked the collectible system in the previous episode, and I had to do some research, ask about friends in the FC, places like that, to work out how and where and why you can gather collectibles as in, in the first case as a miner and maybe in the future I'll cover botanist I was told basically until I get to the Dravanian forelands or forest lands whatever the next zone is called I won't be able to really do botanist so for now we're focused on miner so where we are right now in uh, Corfin Western Highlands is here the Black Iron Bridge around 3023 because this is close to where it spawns and every day at 12pm and 12am is when the node spawn so you can see it spawned very close to here so let's go and then i'll explain which abilities i use when i use them and what the results of that is basically that's the important thing and you can jump off these cliffs without die i haven't unlocked flying in this zone yet but hopefully very soon remember you won't die from fall damage as long as you're not in combat that is the thing to remember so here we go here's the deposit so this is what you need to do. First things first, enable the collector's glove. And then, yeah, maybe stealth is a good idea in case of these wolves. Then you right click, make sure you have a minimum of 500 GP before you go in. Then we're gonna click Toil of the Mountaineer to reveal all of the slots. The one, the slot you want is the second slot. That's the one you want. Then you're going to press the button. We're well, just going to click on it because we've already activated uh, Collector's Glove. So what you then do is you click on it. And when you click on it the first time, it won't collect anything. It instead goes to this menu. It's a completely different screen, which is where a lot of people might be confused. Then we're going to press Discerning Eye. And then we're going to click Methodical Appraisal twice. And the reason we do that is because it will then allow us to increase the rarity of the item enough required for the collectible, for the uh, NPC back in Revenant's Toll. And then that's it. Then we just click Collect a total of four times. And you can see, prefer the item with a collectability of 288. A knight which can that has been preserved as collectible cannot be traded or sold. Okay, so let's do that. I would do it three more times. And this spot here in where exactly where well it's not here, this this here and also another spot, but close to this bridge, basically in Western Corfus Highlands, is only spawns between twelve PM and one AM and also the same 12 Eorzean hours later. So you only have one Eorzean hour to do this collection, but that's it, that's how you do it. That's the best way of doing it. So you can see we've got four collectibles which are good enough to turn in to the NPC. So what we're now gonna immediately do is we're gonna return to Revenant's Toll. We're gonna hand in these four yellow copper ores we got, and we're gonna see how much experience points we get for this. So like I said, simply activate Collector's Glove, hit Discerning Eye after you've clicked on the item once to get the other window and then click Methodical Appraisal twice and that gives you enough collectability for the turn in. So remember that with the collectible system it has to have enough collectability otherwise you just won't get any reward from the appraiser. So here we go, Collectible Appraiser, let's talk to him. So you can see it's automatically selected miner because we are a miner. Yellow copper ore. So you can see 60,000 we got. And because we got 288 quality, we're going to get 60,480. We could get higher, but then we wouldn't get as many. So it's obviously mathematically it's better that we got four of these at the minimum than try and get one or two of them at the highest. So let's click on this. So you can see each time I am getting 60,480 experience for what was just a few seconds work. And that's it. Now remember that the turn-ins towards 
the appraiser are unlimited as long as that's what they're looking for that day and as well that particular node spawns every 12 eorzean hours that's eorzean hours not real life hours an eorzean day is about an hour ish long so it means every 30 or so minutes then you'll be able to go and get another 240,000 experience which is very very fast experience to be honest you can see i'm already nearly pushing towards 52 without barely even trying so that's why doing the collectibles for mining is so so important and doing it every half hour then as well when i progress the main scenario a bit more then i will start looking at doing exactly the same thing for botanist so anyway i, I will detail in the description everything i've spoken about but please take advantage of the collectible system it's going to work wonders for both uh, crafting and gathering for us so yeah so if you have any other methods any other ways of doing this then please let me know in the comments down below but until then, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. So as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri.